you're off the leash on this one. How does that make you feel? Tank. Are you ready? I've started. Oh. Bam. Alright, everyone. Welcome back to the dying light. We gonna... We gonna drive off to a Sithis truck with some stuff in it. And other shit. He's probably gonna kill everything before I even get there. Better drive than me. But yeah. I am always the better driver. I'm really happy we aren't talking about the stuff we talked about before. Good stuff. I'm not gonna bring it back up. Dank. No, this was anything but dank. It was, it was the horrible. Dankest, the dankest. Don't you remember the stuff we talked about? Of course. Boy, there's a the whole heap of zombies up here. Yeah, the high <laughs> Damn, and I was hoping for this to be a kid's channel. Actually, no, not really. I was really hoping for it for anyone to watch. Where are the score? Hey, did you just miss age if you were such a fuck? Did you just miss gender me, such a bastard? Now that I do know, I'm a tragic pyrofax who sexually identifies as an Apache helicopter. I wish I could identify as an Apache helicopter. That, to be fair, Apache helicopters are pretty good. It has rockets and machine guns. Surviving. Boom. Yeah, fine. Oh. In fact, I sent a guy down with a machine to the forehead. Well, the area down below you is now clear. So, so if I fall I, I break my legs, the zombies will not be upon me in seconds. Mm, nope. I mean, you'll be. Will it be minutes then? Uh, uh, you know. They are attracted to pain. The hell? <laughs> They're not attracted to. I think you're thinking. You're talking about uh, masochists, not zombies. Masochists. When you look at zombies, like I know, like supposed to be like blowing in the wind or whatever. But why do they look like they're just sort of jiggling? Jiggle. Like they go jet. They go all jello. I have a question. When I make my Shadow Mortar for you, are you, you going to watch them? Because they're usually... Shadow Mortar, the cash is pretty new. I watch all your videos. I watch most of your videos. Like, I have not watched your Last of Us thing yet because... I mean, it's a long game and I... Prefer, I know, I know. I'm just saying I prefer... <laughs> I know. I watch your videos when I have the time. Usually, usually I work and then come home and then game with you. And then that's it. That's it. You know. Oh shit! Sorry. Well, I'm gonna be doing you stuff this whole weekend, here. so I have the whole weekend to um. Hey, well, relax. It's not like uh, that. I was just looking for some parts to fix you know? up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal anything. You can tell if you teleport up here. You can jump off a car, off and land on a car and live. Drink. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Why can't we just shoot Good him? to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. Because we're the mine. hero. You want some? I'll sell you Not some. Not an anti-hero. But ain't nothing for free. Right, no, understood. No, just... No, just... Yeah, also, someone I know, like, described Rise as like a whiny child. <laughs> just shoot... Just shoot him point blank. And then... But how will this... we know where to get the stuff from then? This is a truck full of stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? What? I'm, I'm only buying like the rare shit. Nothing else. Buy what? I don't know how the hell. 
Uh, I don't know what the hell it's putting us on that mission for. But boy! Wait, where's a car to jump onto? Boy, good news. I'm pretty sure that area you cleared out might be, uh, zombies might be, uh, arriving again. Drink. No, no, I think, yeah, those were just bloodstains, never mind. Shoot it, wait, wait. See, that's Van Damme. There's a whole, there. dude, there's a whole field over here, look. <laughs> like on the opposite side, there's a whole field for you to come and look at. See that whole field of them? Go on. Where is somewhere I can, uh, I could probably just jump off of, there, there's a car on this other end, yeah? Yeah, it's a van. Only the finest Italian physics, how are we doing on time? Eight. We still, okay, yeah, we got plenty of time. Alright, boy, are you ready to take it to him? Dang! I got to flip this on so I may as well start using it. Wait until we get your signature weapon. Exactly. I wish, like, when you had a pistol equipped, uh, you, like, you, you did, like, the melee, you could, like, pistol whip people. Not aiming, like not aiming down the gun. You gotta take note of the velocity. You gotta take note of the velocity of the wind and the Just point the gun and shoot angle them, of the. I don't angle shit. Am I doing it wrong? Zombies seem pretty dead. Sights. Yeah, but if I just don't aim them down, aim down the iron sights, it, it, it works just fine. I mean, also, I was watching a video and um, it was like 15 uh, bosses that are impossible, near impossible to kill. Two of them were Metal Gear bosses. Uh, hey. Number 15 was the Sorrow. Yeah, you can't kill the Sorrow, he's already dead. You have to you, you do like the uh, like the fake death kill or something. No, you have to drown yourself. Yeah, something like that. Because Big Boss is having a near death experience because he's drowning. And he's seeing all the people he's killed. Yes, because of the Sorrow's ability to. And who is that talk other guy who's like a lazy, who's like a samurai? Yeah, she has like red armor or something. Huh? I can't remember. In Metal Gear? Yeah. Did she have a giant weapon? Uh, it was a he. I think so. He? Yeah. Might have been a he. And I'll get back to you on it. Well... Was... Which game was it, do you know? No. What it, did... Was there like a Metal Gear with like the word rising in it? Yeah. Or it was like an end boss. It was like it was like a dude with like big red armor. Red armor dude. Was it a big yeah, buff? It dude? may have been a Yes. Oh that's J Senator Armstrong. Yeah, that's the name. Yeah, I know all the metal gear boys. I know three dog knows all the metal gear. I know all the metal gear boy. The thing is, that Zero created the Patriots, but then when Skullface Boy, I, you know that that is the one, like, those are the him only the, Metal, Gear, Metal Gear characters I actually know, right? Skullface gave him Parasites. I don't know if it's a Would you recommend that I buy a Metal Gear game? Uh, well, which one? One's on the PS4 because we're on the There's only one on the PS4. Did I buy Phantom Pain? Well, I have the Phantom Pain. So, does that mean you have 
It also has multiplayer, so I mean. Does that mean it could go off? No, uh, yeah. Yeah, right now it's like around 30 bucks on PSL. Yeah, it used to be like 60. Yeah, it used to be. It's, it, I mean, it's one of my favorite games, but I pretty much did everything, so I stopped playing it because I pretty much did everything. I did all the missions. Yeah, that's the thing. I, a, lot, a lot of the games, like, you ever have like those moments where, like, oh man, I really love this game? But I, I, and then you just like do everything you can in it, and you're kind of torn here because you want to do something new. And then, like, like every, like, pretty much with me, like, every once in a while, I make like a return. How are we doing on time? Uh, three. That's pretty much what happened with me in Skyrim. Like uh, I, I'm sure I'll have my big return when I buy Remastered. That's pretty I'll, much I'll what I pretty much did everything. Uh, but. I mean, you can still like level up and stuff, but once you do all the main story and the side missions and the guilds and the, it, yeah. I, the, thing, the thing is, like at one point, I actually started looking up like all like little secrets and hidden lore areas, and like I saw a lot of really interesting stories. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot stuff. of cool, a lot of cool stuff, but Bethesda, one of the very big things I love about them, their goddamn storytelling is fantastic. There's a lot of like cool stuff, but it's like side missions and dungeon quests to do, but... The yeah. thing is, I actually got addicted to being a wizard because how difficult it was. I was a master chief. how complicated it is. I never tried that, I might try that one day. But I was anyway, a ma let's end the video here and um... I was a master thief, no one could detect me. I was crazy rich. You were crazy rich? I was crazy rich. The thing is, for me, I like the only time I actually ever stole stuff was. Um, I stole everything. You know, I had like rings of. I like. I the thing is, I was kind of a thief because I used invisibility magic. Nope. I just my sneak still. My sneak still Sneaky. was level. But um. One hundred. Did, did, did you use like um black Thieves dark guild. brotherhood stuff or or like the thief guild master armor? Thief skills master armor. I fully customized it with smithing. And yeah. had a, an did, you give, like, it, did you give it specific names? The uh, Cliff of Dangness. Sure. But I leveled up using the enchantments and the, the smithing skill. Then my light armor was also high level, so that helped. So it was, okay. it was pretty good armor. Oh, yeah. The thing is, I actually got my armor fully leveled because Amulet of Articulation counts as light armor. Yeah, so let's end the video off here and keep talking to the next one, alright? Alright. Alright guys, that was some Dying Light and some fairly interesting commentary, I would say. I mean, I got pretty into that conversation, so we will see you guys next time. Goodbye. Say your little... Dank. Dank.